Well, devastating explosions in Afghanistan will no doubt be top of mind for our federal leaders today as they begin day 13 of campaigning. There is a lot to discuss. We've wrapped up week two now. Parliament Hill Bureau Chief Cormac McSweeney taking the time for us this morning. Cormac, as always, thank you so much. Not a problem. All right, so a, a lot to discuss. All eyes will be on Afghanistan. Um, we heard the Canada pulling from the evacuation mission yesterday. Um, did that catch a lot of people by surprise? I think we were expecting the pullout within days. The government had signaled that, but it, it was a bit of a surprise. We didn't know that the last flight would be leaving when it did leave. Uh, but, you know, the, the chief of defense staff, the acting chief of defense staff, General Wayne Eyre, uh, had said that they had to keep a lot of operational details quiet for security purposes. Uh, so we only found out about the last flight leaving uh, well after it had left. Um, but, you know, this is a big issue right now. It's it's bleeding into the campaign trail for the federal election. Uh, the liberal leader who ha wears two hats. Justin Trudeau is not just the Liberal leader, but also the Prime Minister. And he's been dealing with this while also hitting the campaign trail. And uh, th he's faced a lot of scrutiny right now and criticism from his opponents on the campaign trail for how this was handled from, uh, you know, whether we should have acted sooner to whether there should have been so much red tape for people looking to flee Afghanistan. So it's been a big issue on the campaign trail this week. And uh, I expect that the issues uh, we're talking about will bleed into next week as well. Cormac, you mentioned that this could this could hurt him on the trail right now. And looking at some recent polls, you're seeing the conservatives catch up uh, in a lot of those numbers. Do you think that the re liberals regret calling an election? I think they're still pushing forward with this election. Um, I, I haven't heard from any uh, liberal insider saying they regret calling this election. It has been asked of liberal leader Justin Trudeau many times. He has never said he regrets it. Uh, but, you know, you look at the poll numbers right now and uh, the liberals have fallen quite a bit. They went into this election with a five to nine point lead, depending on which poll you're looking at. Uh, the conservatives had played a very safe election campaign so far, very insulated. Uh, they have haven't really hit the road that much and when they have it's been a very tight-knit crew of events and rallies with uh, only supporters they haven't been uh, treating this campaign the same way as the other parties doing a lot of events in Ottawa from a TV studio but it's paid off for the conservatives uh, where we're seeing now the liberals and conservatives basically neck and neck in a virtual tie by most polls so it's interesting to see that I believe I saw one report and I apologize to whoever put this report out I didn't see it um, uh, I can't remember exactly who did it but they said that some liberal liberal insiders are t telling candidates to hold steady it can be bumpy in a campaign uh, and that uh, we could see things uh, go up and down and, and that's very true campaigns never finish the same way they start and there's a lot of movement in a campaign but right now it's not been in the favor of the liberals let's talk about some of the issues and affordability has been at top of mind for all of the leaders uh, we saw a lot of announcements around housing who's hitting it home right now for you well, um, I, I won't give my opinions about what's hitting it off with voters, uh, but because that remains to be seen. Uh, we'll, we'll find out on Election Day which plan people really jump behind. But, uh, you know, housing has been a big issue for a lot of people, and we've seen that with the NDP and the Liberals really putting a focus on that this week, trying to say, we're going to help you get into a home uh, if you haven't yet gotten into one, because uh, the housing markets in a lot of places like Toronto and Vancouver are just insane right now. Uh, but... Uh, on top of that, we heard the NDP talking about trying to cap cell phone bills. And uh, even the Conservatives say, look, we want to bring in a new savings account for workers stuck in the gig economy and, and trying to appeal to, um, uh, you know, more blue collar union style workers as well by making uh, promises that they'll give them a seat at the table on the board of directors for large corporations across Canada. So uh, a lot of people are trying to appeal to the workers, trying to appeal to their pocketbooks and affordability, mm -hmm. which happens in every campaign, but it sees it's it seems like we're getting this focus out right now. But as we talked about at the start, Afghanistan is dominating the campaign trail. And uh, as much as you're hearing some of these party leaders uh, try to get their messages across, uh, the questions about uh, the crisis in Afghanistan uh, keeps popping up. And for the liberals, it's the biggest challenge because they're trying to get their, their plan across. Uh, and yet, uh, you know, they, they can't stay on message because all the questions are about the crisis there. Uh, a lot to discuss here, Cormac. Before you go, I want to show you one quick thing. Someone sent me this tweet saying... I love how the image of Cormac on breakfast television, this is what we did to promote you, uh, makes him look more like a government <laughs> official than the ones actually running for the job. There you go. We'll, we'll leave That's that very with you. Kind. <laughs> that picture was actually, I think, in my first year or so on Parliament Hill uh, oh. when David Cameron came and gave a speech to uh, the House of Commons. Uh, I remember that. So yeah. it's you were a fresh good face. memory.
Cormac Jr., <laughs> adorable. All right, have a great weekend. Thank you so much for your a time. A lot more as dark hair back then as yeah, well. Yeah, things have changed. It's all good. <laughs> you look wonderful, as always. Talk to you soon.